thanks for joining me at amycommonsensesouthern.com and today I want to share with you my seven top picks from Whole Foods Market. In a perfect world I would just go to one grocery store and I'd be able to get everything but unfortunately that's not how it is. That's probably not how it is for you. Most of us have to go to a couple of different places to get everything. I've learned over the years what's a good buy at some stores is not a good buy at others and so I want to share with you my top things from Whole Foods Market. Item number one on my top pick list are these 365 frozen mango chunks. These are so good, just put in a plastic container or a glass container and put in my lunch. Um, by the time lunchtime comes around, they're thawed and they're so good because they were uh, frozen at exactly the perfect time to taste really good just eating on their own. I mean, this is good in smoothies or whatever else you want to put in it also, but these are really good just on their own. And I can't say that for all the frozen mango chunks that I have bought from other places once they're thought out. Item number two on my top picks list is the 365 Organic Herbs de Provence Salad Dressing. I like to mix up my own salad dressing when I have the time, but when I'm in a rush in the morning trying to put my lunch together, I don't know about you, but I don't have time to mix up salad dressing from scratch at 6 a.m. I don't have the stomach for it either, but this is so good. And one of my favorite things about this is that it is, um, just two points per uh, serving of two tablespoons, so one point per tablespoon, so that doesn't break the Weight Watchers point bank. This is one of my favorites. It has no added sugar as well. If you read the ingredient label, not only is there no sugar, but none of those other syrups that really need sugar, and there's no artificial sweetener in it, so this is really, really good stuff. I'm picky about my salad dressing because I make my own, and this is really good. Item number three on my top pick list from Whole Foods Market is the roasted chicken. So this particular roasted chicken was $6.99 and it is so good. Um, this one has actually cooled off, but you can get them hot or cold. So my favorite thing to do with this is to just um, take it out of the package, cut the chicken up and put it on a roasting pan and just stick it in the oven for about 15 minutes at 350 just to knock the chill off. And sometimes the, if you leave it long enough, the skin will start to crisp up a little bit again. You can hear it sizzling in there. And this is just so good. Um, use the breast to make chicken salad. So this is Weight Watchers points friendly too. I'm gonna look over here at my cheat sheet. And I just count this as rotisserie chicken. And in the Weight Watchers points world, um, chicken breast rotisserie without skin is zero points. Chicken drumstick rotisserie with skin is three points. The chicken wing rotisserie with skin is three points. The thigh with skin is five points without the thigh, uh, excuse me, without the skin four points. So this is definitely a great bag for your buck on Weight Watchers. Item number four on my top pick list is the Engine 2 Blueberry Granola. And this is so good. Just if you want something crunchy, if you want something um, just as a snack or on yogurt, um, this is so good. And I just want you to see how good this looks because there are actual big chunks of dried blueberry in it. So I'm going to try to get this close enough to the camera so that you can so that you can see those those nice sized blueberries in there. Uh, in the Weight Watchers world, this is a bit on the hefty side, but it is seven points for one half cup. I don't know why you would necessarily need to put an entire half cup on a bowl of yogurt. This is a quarter cup size right here, and compare that to a half cup size, and I wouldn't really encourage you, so this is a half cup and this is a quarter cup, and this I think is sufficient to go on some yogurt. So if you take it seven points for a half cup, then for a quarter cup, it would only be three and a half. If you tend to round up, that would be four points, but it is well worth every single point. This stuff is so good. And this is another item that I love because it does not have any added sugar or artificial sweeteners in it. Not only is there no sugar, but none of those syrups that really need sugar and no artificial sweeteners in it. Item number five on my top picks from Whole Foods Market is this olive oil cooking spray, the 365 brand. This is great for um, making your regular cookware work like a nonstick cookware. That's a whole other video that I can do for you, but I don't have any nonstick cookware in my house. And one of the ways that I make that happen is with this olive oil spray. Item number six on my favorite things from Whole Foods Market would be the Italian sparkling mineral water. 
This is actually a really great buy, and this was a game changer for me because this is what helped me get away from drinking sodas and diet sodas, or soft drinks, or pop, or whatever you call it in the part of the country you're in. But this is a really good buy because at less than $6 for this whole six pack, that makes this bottle less than a dollar, which is not bad when you consider that a soda from a drink machine that's much smaller costs you $1.25 or more. And true, this is just water, it's not soda, but you really have to try some kind of mineral water. I highly recommend that just as a Weight Watchers hack in general, if you are trying to um, stay within your points and you're just tired of plain water. There are some times, I mean, water's great. We know that you need water, you need to be hydrated. It's good for you to drink lots and lots of water, but sometimes I just want something more than just plain tap water. And for me, this mineral water satisfies that extra busy something, whatever it is in a soda that I'm looking for and need. Now, you don't have to drink this just plain. One of my favorite things to do with mineral water, I don't know if you have where you live, uh, one of those fancy schmancy olive oil and vinegar stores, but this particular uh, balsamic vinegar that I have right here is a Cara Cara vanilla flavor. And so I just put just a little tiny bit that was maybe a quarter of a teaspoon in there. And then I fill this up with the mineral water. So just add that right in and it mixes together. And I've made myself a zero point orange vanilla flavored soda. This is so good. Or you can just squeeze, if you want something more than plain mineral water, you can squeeze some lemon or lime in this and it will really just take that edge off of whatever you wanted that for. Now I never uh, counted balsamic vinegar even in my salad dressing when I was dropping most of my weight with Weight Watchers. Um, some people tell me that they do count balsamic vinegar. I never did and I lost over 60 pounds. So that's just something to consider. Everyone has their own personal preference with what they, you know, count and don't little things like that. But anyway, number six. Item seven on my top picks from Whole Foods Market is actually a non-food item. It's the good soap. It says good on the front. And I don't know if it's pronounced Alifia, Alifa. I'm not sure. Someone in the comments let me know. Good soap. And the particular one that we love in my house is the lavender scent. It lathers so well and it's made, it makes your bathroom smell amazing when you're taking a bath with this stuff or a shower with this. I highly recommend it. Give it a try. So those are my top seven picks from Whole Foods Market. Six food items. One that is a non-food item but is just a little luxury that you need to take care of yourself. Don't forget to take care of yourself with little things that make you happy as well. I hope you enjoyed me sharing my top seven picks from Whole Foods Market. What are your favorite picks from Whole Foods Market? Leave those in the comments below. Do you want to see more videos like this where I talk about other grocery stores? Please leave that in the comments below as well. I hope to see you again. Please give me a thumbs up for this video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell so that you will not miss a video from amycommonsensesouthern.com. Until next time, bye-bye.